Yo, One Piece Nation here with my review of One Piece Chapter 844. Now this chapter, where do I begin with it? Where do I begin with this chapter of One Piece? When I start off by saying I think it's the best chapter so far in 2015, maybe one of the three best chapters that we enter the New World, but definitely the best chapter of the year. I don't see anything Oda could do in the next two months to, to beat this chapter. This chapter was that good. Alright, so the emotion is great. The you know, it was emotional. It made me cry a little bit. You go back to my live reaction. I didn't cry, but I did get teary eyed and I did cry a little bit after my review. Now, Good. The last time I got very emotional in One Piece, like level I mean, I got emotional with the Rizo stuff on 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 Low, but this was the first time, and I really felt them as one of the main characters in a long time, and that just brings me great, great joy to stay. Now I'd like to move on to a court the Sanji and Luffy fight. Sonny's not stronger than Luffy, and you think that, you're an idiot. I'm sorry. Luffy was not fighting back. He was holding back, and he was being stubborn, and he was weak. There are multiple reasons that no feat can be taken from this fight, unless Sonny had done a new attack, and even then, he didn't. So it doesn't matter. <sighs> now let's move on to the next big one. The next big rabbit could do with the Nami clapping Sanji. So I've seen a couple of people say, not a lot, because the chapter had only been out for a couple of hours, say Nami went too far. I don't believe that's the case. I believe Nami is acting as the female Zoro of the arc, if you will. She's taking Zoro's place and being the one to tell the Prima Theta Luffy, you are the captain and you demand respect. It was one thing, Nami didn't give a shit. But then Luffy said, like a fool like you can ever become the Pirate King. And that's when Nami was like, okay, that you just crossed the line. You are his subordinate. At the end of the day, you are the subordinate and he is the captain. If you are not going to respect him, then you if you be willing to say that to his face, then you clearly don't deserve to be his crewmate to be his cock. And that was Nami's logic. Now, that's what I believe. I believe she was doing what Zoro would have done. But let's talk about the ending. So Luffy pretty much stands there like this. And he says, I'm not going to move for this spot until you become Pirate King. And I won't eat, and I won't eat anything. This is Luffy. I won't eat again unless you cook it. So either you come back or I starve to death. Now there's a small problem with this. I don't think Tony believed that for a damn minute. Because I somewhat don't believe it either. I'm sorry. I just he's Luffy. I don't think him just not eating. I don't think that's logical for Luffy. So yeah, I don't know how this is going to go. I, I don't know. This, this was weird. It was some weird shit, if I'm being honest. But then there'll be ending line, I can't think I'm Pirate King without you. It was really that ending speak by Luffy, and uh, Sonny being a liar and all of that was what made the chapter great. That would be emotional for me. The flashbacks that were put in that Luffy trying to recruit Sonny were great. I wish Yoda could have somehow worked in a flashback to the classic I refuse your refusal moment. You know, I got my favorite moments in One Piece. Comedy wise, I, I love crew wise, like recruiting wise. I love the recruitment scenes, that's one of my favorite. I mean, it is just classic Luffy to go, I refuse your refusal. And I wish I would have could have worked that in somehow, but he couldn't, and I understand that. There wasn't really a place for it. But honestly, this chapter is a 10 out of 10. I mean, the only thing I'll say about this chapter that I don't like is the title. The title is Clicking Baby as Hell. Okay, hear me out. It says Luffy vs. Sanji. Luffy vs. Sanji would entitle that Luffy throws a punch. 
Well, at least they throw one punch throughout the entire chapter. So if more of the chapter should have been titled, Doggy beats the ever living shit out of Luffy for like five pages. And then they argue some more verbally. That could have been the title of the chapter should have been. But it wasn't. And this was an amazing chapter. I mean, and I'm a little disappointed that Luffy didn't seem to understand it's not even tricking them. I mean, it's Luffy, is, he's, is there one thing he's always been able to do? He's always able to figure out what's going on with his crewmate. So I'm a little surprised he couldn't figure out it's not even tricking them. But that's besides the point. Who cares? I mean, good job. I can't really hold that against Oda because Luffy's an idiot. He's always been an idiot, and honestly, Nami's doing a really damn good job acting. And not like with Nami, with Robin, where Robin was crying a little bit. It was like you could hear that you could clear she was lying. Nami, if we didn't get out of contact, Nami would seem incredibly genuine, and I would probably be leaving. So, yeah, I'm not gonna, you know, hand the chapter for that. 10 out of 10 chapter. I noticed that there was a short review, but all that really happened was it was emotional. Luffy and Luffy and, Luffy and Sanji fought. Uh, Sanji beat Luffy up. And Luffy gave a speech to Sanji and Nami slapped him. So all that really happened. It does bring up a lot of great discussions though, like will Nami forgive him? Did Nami piss? If you, if you note in the monastery translation, they talk about how she normally refers to Sanji as Sanji Kun, which is a Japanese term girls normally use to guide that they find nice. But when Nami says it, she normally uses it in a much more teasing way. Uh, it, you know, it, so it's not that Nami finds him attractive, she just calls him Kun, I think, as a gesture of how nice he is to her. Uh, she calls her Nami Guan or Nami Chan in some translation. So she will call him Kun. It's more of like a gesture that she had for him, not because he actually finds him attractive. I don't want people to get this confused with a stalker for Naruto calling Sasuke Kun because he's attractive. It's completely different circumstances. Nami does it out of the kindness of her heart, and Naruto is new. The substances are used more literally, like stalker are called Sasuke Sasuke Kun, which she literally finds him attractive. But that's besides the point. The point is, is that Nani dropped the Dakun stuff in and called him Lord Sanji. That thing really got to me too, because Nani, is, there was like hatred in her eyes. She was angry. And she slapped him and all that. Now, it was, I did like, you know, the thing with Yoji, where he was like, spicy, my kind of woman. The Vintmo. Also talking about strong Sanji is, but they think I'm... They only really mention I look injured, that's more of a fan base, but I'm assuming they have the same conclusion. Considering Nami outright announced it. Also, I want to talk about quickly. Big Mom, the Vin Smoke now know and can tell Big Mom where Luffy is, and that Luffy beat up one of the Queen Commander because Nami shouted it to the whole world that Nami beat up Cracker. So yeah, Nami may have just sentenced Luffy to death. I'm kidding, he's obviously not gonna die. But yeah, these are my overall thoughts on One Piece Chapter 844. Tell me your thoughts on the chapter in the comment section down below. Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you cry like I did? And above all else, guys, have a great day. Like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more One Piece videos.